ago, I was a bit taken aback to get a call from the president of the American Dental Association when I was at a meeting in Brazil. And um, But I, I quickly coped with that. <laughs> and uh, actually, after the phone call, I didn't tell you this, but we went off and we celebrated, which was kind of nice. But uh, obviously, I, I had a sense of surprise. I didn't know I was going to get the award. And a sense of um, actually a bit of intimidation because I have known most of the people who have received this award and they have been my heroes. The ones I've known, are, uh, some of them are still alive and they've made very significant contributions to human health and the understanding and control of orofacial and, uh, and dental disease and it means just a huge amount to me to be numbered among that group. I'm not sure I deserve it but I'm going to say thank you and be very polite and accept it. <laughs> One could do no other. And then the, the other thought that came to me is that nobody does this stuff by themselves. Uh, I was privileged in some cases to initiate and lead projects, in others to be one of the team, a follower if you like. And there's a, a very big pyramid of people I've worked with, hundreds of colleagues uh, and uh, students, residents, fellows, thousands of patients and research subjects. and this award recognizes their contributions at least as much as it does anything I've done.